If you're anything like me, you love to watch movies, but if you're also anything like me before I did the research for this video, you have no idea just how expensive some of them are. Here are the 10 most expensive films ever made. Number 10 is Cleopatra. The historic American-made movie Cleopatra, which premiered on June 12, 1963, was quite a spectacle for its time, since it was the most expensive movie project anyone had ever worked on or even seen. It cost $31.1 million to make, which, if made in 2017 and was adjusted for today's inflation, would come to around $248.5 million. The production put 20th Century Fox in a state of near bankruptcy when it ended up spending $29 million more than it expected to. The film featured a star-studded cast with a young Elizabeth Taylor as Cleopatra VII and other famous names of the era such as Sir Rex Harrison and Richard Burton. Taylor was paid a record-breaking $1 million and due to large delays in shooting, it became a $7 million payday, which is close to $56 million by today's rates. Luckily, the movie did gross $57.8 million at the box office Office, which would be like earning around $462 million today. That's all it takes to get that much more of a payday? Seven times the earnings? Man, if I was on cast, I would just be secretly breaking cameras and stuff. I'd be like, oops, it's delayed again. Another million, bring it on. Number nine is Waterworld. The Kevin Costner post-apocalyptic epic Waterworld premiered on July 28, 1995 with an estimated production budget of $172 million, which adjusted for today's inflation would be more like $276 million. At the time, it was the most expensive film ever made, and it was very nearly a financial disaster for Universal Studios, earning only $88 million at the North American box office. Waterworld actually proved to be more of a success in the foreign market than the domestic, earning $176 million, bringing its worldwide total to $264 million, or $424 million by today's standards. The film's total expenses came in at around $75 million over over budget due to huge water enclosure sets being destroyed by a hurricane and Costner, who was also producing, calling for complete redos of the film's soundtrack. Sounds like a filmmaker's nightmare, but hey, at least it's a classic by today's standards, right? <laughs> Nobody makes fun of that movie. <clears throat> Number eight is John Carter. If you don't remember the movie John Carter, the 2012 movie starring Taylor Kitsch and William Dafoe, it's mostly because it was one of the most expensive box office fails of all time for Disney. With marketing and production costs of $350 million, John Carter had some big spending recovery to undertake at the box office. When the film opened on March 9th, 2012, it received, uh, let's just say mixed reviews due to the story and plot issues. And from there, it only went on to earn $73 million in North America. Overseas, the film recouped more of its losses by earning $211 million, bringing the worldwide total to $284 million and leaving a loss of still $66 million. The film's losses resulted in the resignation of the chairman of Walt Disney Studios, Rich Ross. Not to be confused with Rick Ross. Oh. John Carter was supposed to be the first movie of a trilogy, which was of course cancelled because of the high cost and very low return. Sometimes Sometimes Disney's movie magic ends up becoming a magical movie failure. Oh, who's paying for this one? Someone's gonna die! Oh. Number seven is Harry Potter in the Half-Blood Prince. Accio 1.8 billion galleons! <clears throat> if you're a Harry Potter fan, it may interest you to know that the sixth entry in the Harry Potter movie franchise, The Half-Blood Prince, came at an extreme cost to the production company. So extreme, in fact, that it became the most expensive Harry Potter film in the series and the seventh most expensive film of all time. When Half-Blood Prince was released on July 15, 2009, its budget topped $275 million, a figure that's $100 million more than its predecessors and equal to the total of the final entries of Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 combined. Part of this extra expense was due to 
to the actors, who had been with the series from the start, having their contracts renegotiated, including lead actor Daniel Radcliffe, who earned between 14 million and 20 million dollars just for his role. But the film ended up making over 934 million dollars worldwide at the box office, making it a stupidly ridiculous success. That's a whole lot of money. Crap yo my pants though. I'm sure that's a spell. Number six is Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Since 2003, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise has been a giant money magnet for Walt Disney Studios and producer Jerry Bruckheimer. It's also been a giant sinkhole for money, taking hundreds of millions of dollars in order to secure the acting talent, impressive CGI effects, and fantastical and exotic sets. The third film in the series, which premiered on May 25, 2007, set a brand new high for movie spending with a whopping $300 million price tag. Lead actor Johnny Depp, who plays the infamous Captain Jack Sparrow, was paid around $65 million for his role in what was originally to be the last Pirates movie. Add that to the paychecks for stars like Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom, and you already have one third of the movie budget spent. Fortunately for Disney, the movie grossed $309 million in North America alone, with $654 million overseas for a total of over $963 million dollars. You don't actually think Johnny Depp was working for free, did you? <laughs> no. Number five is Avengers Age of Ultron. Typically, superhero movies cost a pretty penny to film for the big screen, but when you invite all the most popular Marvel heroes into the same film, it can cost uh, an arm and a leg, or maybe just all your limbs. Avengers Age of Ultron premiered on May 1st, 2015, and cost $316 million for all of the stars, sets, and over 3,000 CGI shots and production talent that came together for one of the biggest superhero movies of all time. Robert Downey Jr. alone earned $40 million as Iron Man, followed by Scarlett Johansson who got $20 million as Black Widow, while the other actors who played Thor, Hulk, Hawkeye, and Captain America earned a total of $21.2 million together. The film, which was written and directed by Joss Whedon, was received favorably by critics and earned a whopping $1.4 billion worldwide at the box office, making it the seventh highest grossing film of all time. Avengers assemble! To the bank, let's go. Number four is Tangled. Disney's computer animated take on Rapunzel, Tangled, released on November 24th, 2010, had a production budget of $281 million and became the fifth most expensive movie ever made. Rapunzel was the first official Disney princess to be fully rendered in 3D, and much of the film's cost went into developing the computer graphic engines specifically tailored to the film's aesthetic. The digital artists worked to blend the artistic painted style of 2D animation with the motion and depth of 3D, opting to go for a moving painted world look rather than the photorealistic Disney princess movie. One of the biggest and most expensive issues that plagued the animators was with the creation of realistic hair physics, a process that took six years to solve. But the switch to 3D proved to be a success and Tangle racked in $200.8 million in North America and $390.9 million worldwide for a total of over 591 million. Oh my god, I'm gonna make a movie about hair. Not my own, obviously. Number three is Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3, the last Spider-Man film in director Sam Raimi's trilogy, starring Tobey Maguire, Kristen Dunst, and James Franco, premiered on May 4th, 2007. Writer and director Raimi decided to exit the Spider-Man movie franchise with a bang, or at least the third most expensive movie production budget of all time, spending $293 million. The budget, when adjusted for inflation in 2017, comes to $304.2 million, virtually tying it with the expenses used in creating the Titanic. Lead actor Tobey Maguire agreed to reprise his role as Peter Parker for a cool $15 million following the success of the first two films in the trilogy. The giant spend for the 
this Marvel hero blockbuster paid off with a worldwide box office gross of just under $891 million, making it the highest grossing Spider-Man movie of all time, unless the reboot, Spider-Man Homecoming, somehow manages to dethrone it. See, look, I can be upside down too. $15 million, please, it's just that easy. Number two is the Titanic. This famous history epic by James Cameron was and is still one of the most well-known movies of all time, and one of the most expensive too. Premiering on December 19, 1997, Titanic, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, was the most expensive film ever made at the time. The overall production costs hit $200 million, which would be equal to just under $305 million by today's inflation. Cameron actually contracted the company that built the original Titanic to help him build a scale replica that was more film worthy than it was seaworthy. Entire rooms complete with intricate decoration and props were all created from scratch at an incredible cost. Though 20th Century Fox was worried about the cost and over three hour runtime of the film, Titanic became a massive box office hit, making over $600 million in North America alone and $1.2 billion worldwide, bringing the worldwide total to $1.8 billion. Okay, that's all well and good, but can we just state the obvious really quick? What did they do with the ship when the movie was done filming? I mean, you've got a gigantic Titanic replica is just it seems like a waste. What do they do? Just let it sink, tear it apart. I'm very confused. And number 1, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Since the third Pirates movie wasn't mind-blowingly expensive enough for Disney and Jerry Bruckheimer Productions, they decided to double down on their box office gamble and spend $403 million for the fourth installment. In Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, actor Johnny Depp was called upon again to reprise his crowd-pleasing role of Captain Jack Sparrow. For this time, brace yourself, $55.5 million, while regular supporting characters were set aside and replaced by new characters. Stranger Tide's extravagant production and marketing budget actually did pay off, drawing in a worldwide box office total of over $1,046,000,000. The film's crazy budget incorporated over 1,100 shots of computer-generated imagery, 3D cameras, exotic destination films, in a soundtrack done by Hans Zimmer. It's considered to be one of the most expensive films of all time so far, and despite mixed reviews, it profited hugely. And that's it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, on the right, you'll find two of my most recent videos that you can press or click on your screen right now if you want to watch some more. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Hey.